The FTSE 100 is one of many abbreviations you'll come across in your investing journey. So this video is going to get straight to it and explain the FTSE 100 in under two minutes. The Financial Times Stock Exchange 100, which started as a joint venture between the Financial Times and the London Stock Exchange, is a stock market index that tracks the 100 largest companies on the London Stock Exchange by market capitalization. End of video. Just kidding. To understand all of this, you first need to understand what we mean by an index and market capitalization. A stock market index is another word for a collection of stocks that are all being tracked by the same metric so that you can measure their performance as a whole. Common metrics include revenue, so how much money the company is bringing in, sector, like tracking stocks that relate to gold, for example, or market capitalization, as is the case for the FTSE 100. Market capitalization, or market cap, is a company's value as determined by the stock market. It's calculated by multiplying the number of shares currently held by stakeholders, known as outstanding shares, by the current market value of one share. So if a company has 100 outstanding shares selling for £10 each, its market cap would be £1,000. So, being an index, the FTSE 100 tracks the performance of a group of stocks on the stock market. The metric it uses to decide which stocks to include in the group is market capitalization. These two elements then are like filters, limiting the group to just the top 100 companies with the highest market cap on the London Stock Exchange. To learn more about the FTSE 100, including how to invest in it, check out our full guide on finder.com by clicking this link. Remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell button for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.